I'm going to review a vegan what I eat in a day video by Mia Slife. Oh boy. We are here witnessing Sferridge reviewing a video by Mia's Life. I'm guessing that the majority of my audience, being older, doesn't watch Mia's Life. Uh, Mia's Life is a She's a teenager, she's around 15 years old, 15, 16. I'm not sure how old she is, I don't watch her channel. It's aimed at teenagers. Um, it's a, one of the spin-off channels from Family Fizz. Family Fizz now have got over, what, two million subscribers. They're a vegan channel. They actually started off as a, a purely a vegan fitness channel. They used to be called, back in the day when I used to follow them, they were called Vegan Fitness TV. So it's mum, dad, and at that time, two daughters. Mia, the eldest, who was a little kid then, and Sienna, again, when I used to watch them, I think Sienna was around four. The channel grew and they rebranded, call themselves Family Fizz. So although they're still vegan and they still promote veganism, um, they're, they're more of like a family vlogging, fun challenge type channel. Um, they're a bit too happy for me. I stopped following them a good while back, um, but yeah, they're very, very, very popular. I think probably the most popular vegan channel, although they're not a vegan channel anymore. But anyway, Mia is the eldest daughter. She has her own channel um, and she does things that are relevant to teenagers. So why is Sverage? <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? So we are going to watch Sverage trying to take apart Mia's life. Hey Mia, come on. So on one of my recent videos, oh it boy. actually had comments. Nobody's perfect and like, for example, my skin. I do have troubles with it, like breaking out quite a bit and stuff like that. However, I feel like- All, all vegans do. I don't. And I never have had problems with my skin, even when I was a teenager. I would love to say that I go to the gym every day, however, that would be a lie. Like, I, I actually, like, enjoy going to the gym sometimes. Not all the time, sometimes it's like that thing, like, before you go to the gym, you're like, oh, I really don't want to. But then when you're actually at the gym... That doesn't make any sense. Either you like it or not. Obviously, stressing your body is not fun for anybody. You can make yourself believe that to give yourself motivation to go to the gym, but you're lying to yourself and living in denial then. Mia is living in denial when she says that sometimes, you know, she has to spur herself on to go to the gym. Okay. Who hasn't felt like that at some point about stuff that you know you'll enjoy once you get up off the couch? And at least Mia is a positive role model for all of those teenagers who don't get up off the couch, who don't get out of their gaming chairs and go out and actually do something that is good for their body. First thing I go on when I get to the gym is the treadmill. Because I always like to start my workout off with a warm up and I like to do cardio for that because I just feel like it gets my heart pumping and basically because obviously I go to the gym normally like first thing in the morning. Obviously I went a bit later today than normal. But yeah, basically I go there like. <laughs> yes, it gets your heart pumping. Obviously because you're slowly dying. It's proven to cause heart disease. It's in no way healthy. You're not even doing it outside, you're a modern slave who's inside of a building running for absolutely no reason. People who believe that this is in any way at all healthy are completely removed from reality. <laughs> what? This is the ultimate in opposite land thinking. Going to the gym removes you from reality. I mean, I much prefer exercising in the great outdoors. I always have done. Although I've done the gym stuff in the past, but hey. But getting your heart pumping, doing some cardio is going to kill you. It's going to slowly kill you. 
So then I like to do some weight training. I don't know what you call it, but you know, some resistance machines. So for these sorts of things, I just kind of take it however I feel like my body can take it. Normally I do like 20 or 25. I did start. I can in some way understand why guys like do this, but girls. Light. So then I girls, women, females, they, he doesn't understand why they do resistance training. Now back from the gym and it is breakfast time. I am very, very hungry. So this is what I have for breakfast. I basically have porridge with um, obviously oats and I have soya milk and then I have lots of pomegranate. Let me show you guys. I've got pomegranate. I've also got some blended flax seeds. So they're all ground up and that way you can actually absorb the nutrients, all of the omega threes. Then I've got some grapefruit on here and I've also got some frozen berries. All right. I assume that as a teenager you really believed it, but uh, it's not true. It's been proven that we can convert the plant oils into animal fat. That's what you want when you talk about omega freeze. <laughs> you already admit that you need animal fat. The rest of it is, of course, as always, oats in the morning, some sugar and fiber to start off your day, ruin your mood because it will destroy your gut, some more sugar, 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 anti-nutrients in the seeds, phytoestrogens as a teenager, female, perfect. So a wholesome, healthy bowl of oats and fruit with some flax seeds. Anti-nutrients though. <laughs> phytoestrogens though. Fibre though. <laughs> Wouldn't the average parent be, you know, just really pleased if their kid was eating so much fruit, so much healthy grains? Opposite land. It's a very, very, very strange place. With my breakfast, I also like to have my vitamins. I do actually basically... Okay, uh, it's good for your skin, even though you admitted that your skin is bad. So it doesn't work. Or are antioxidants actually there to defend the plants? Obviously not the animals, in this case you as a human, eating them. Which one is it? Hmm. Nature. Think about it. I always have really struggled to swallow um, like capsules. I literally can't do it. So I have to have it with food. Duh. I used to have to actually chew them. Listen to your body. Like that. Like I cannot do it with water. I've never been able to. So I have to do it with food now. I've like progressed a little bit. So the vitamins I have, I actually have these B12 ones after my breakfast. Because I feel like as a vegan, you can sometimes get low in B12. So it's better to be safe than sorry. This one's actually an under the tongue one. So this is nice. I have that after. Vitamin B12 benefits gives you good skin. Again, nothing you say makes sense. It's a huge contradiction. Usually they add dextrose to pills just so people swallow them. They taste terrible because it's not vitamins. Those are toxins. Actual vitamin B12 is found in meat. Yeah, you can't take a supplement. No, that's completely out of Sverige's range of thinking. It doesn't matter that a shed ton of carnies also take supplements. Then I also have these probiotic ones. It does come in a jar, but um, I accidentally put the jar in the bin, but you're not really supposed to do that. So this is just what you fill the jar up with. These are the female probiotic ones, which are really good for your guts. And then I have these omega-3 DHL huh? from algae. DHL? Fish oil, did but she say that? So she did say DHL. Of course she means DHA. She made a mistake. Wow. Then I also have another under the tongue one. So I obviously have this after I've eaten my breakfast. And this is K2. And obviously K2 is good for your bones. So those are the vitamins I have on like a regular It's not basis. animal K2, K2 but whatever. You won't understand. I won't even right, explain it. it. The body can make its own K2. Opposite land. Lunchtime. So for lunch, look at what I have every day for lunch, or pretty much every day. I, when I'm trying to be healthy, on like my healthy days, I always like to have a sweet potato for lunch because it's just 
amazing. I love sweet potato. It's like my favorite food ever and it's obviously full of loads of vitamin A, which is good for your skin and it just looks, it's so delicious. I love sweet potato. Okay, obviously you keep repeating that it's good for your skin because you're very insecure about your skin. I'm just trying to make you realize that that's it. There's no vitamin A in sweet potatoes. Never has been. Actually, there's no plant at all that has vitamin A because it's an animal vitamin. This is why your skin is not getting better. If you would eat some liver, which is the highest source of vitamin A, then your skin would slowly start clearing up. Really, trust me. Plant foods do not have retinol, the animal version of vitamin A. What animals do is convert the beta carotene in plants into retinol. That's exactly what humans do. Humans convert the beta carotene as they need it. So there's no threat of getting overdosed like some carnies are at clear threat of doing when they're chomping down that liver. Some people are genetically low converters of beta carotene into retinol. But even the lowest of the low converters, I've got videos about this on my channel, can still convert enough to make adequate stores of vitamin A from plant foods. Things like sweet potatoes, carrots, greens, they are packed full of beta carotene. You really do not need that much, that many plant foods. One sweet potato and one carrot will give even a low converter enough on a daily basis. My God. A bit of guacamole on it because it has healthy fats and then i've also got some greens for all of the vitamins and minerals it has oils so what you want is animal fat stuff. of course you do yeah you want animal fat of course you do yeah don't let the color put you off basically it's got carrots in it celery and it's got cucumber in it doesn't Toxic. really taste like anything it's also got carrot toxins as well celery makes you allergic like to the sun essentially Celery makes you allergic to the sun. <laughs> That's a new one. Mia Corns, I know you guys are probably thinking like, Mia, you literally eat so healthily. I'm now making dinner. So for dinner, I'm actually going to be having some noodles. Now I'm going to put some water in here and then start cooking those. I'm also going to put some tofu and then I'm going to make some sort of like glaze out of maple syrup and balsamic vinegar for my dinner. And I am done. Look how amazing this looks, Mia Corns. I'm so excited to eat this. Basically, the reason why I love the maple syrup and the balsamic vinegar combination is because it basically goes with covers up the taste caramelized caramel caramelized anyways look how amazing it looks let's try it mm. i also love spicy food so i've always add some nice hot sauce to my meals this makes it that little bit better so. She said it makes it better. Of course, you have toxic greens there, which no human wants to eat. That's why you cook them and cover them up with spices. It's common sense for a human being to do that because it goes against your senses to eat that. People don't season meat because they want to disguise the flavor. My baby sister is now asleep. But Ooh. it is dessert time, so for dessert I have some Halo Top ice cream. This is the flavor peanut butter cup, which is like one of my favorite flavors. I love peanut butter, so this is just amazing. Right, I've got a bowl full here, so this is my favorite time of the day. As I said earlier, I absolutely love sweet. You really have to stop this. Your skin is going to be so ruined from the scars, you will look really really old i'm going to assume that you went vegan because you wanted to maybe heal your skin also it's quite possible and it's never going to work you're getting high amounts of toxins from the plants and all plants have them every day your body is detoxing because you're still a young woman whose immune system is somewhat intact later on people still consume toxins but their bodies don't get rid of them anymore that's why it's quite bad at this point. No, Sarage, and if you'd done the slightest bit of research, you would know that Mia has been a vegan for almost all of her life since she was a little kid. Sienna and the baby, new baby, I think he's like one now, Karma, they have been vegan all of their life. 
Will they feature in one of your epitome of malnourishment videos as vegan kids? No, because they look incredibly healthy, incredibly energetic. This is another example of you cherry picking, cherry picking for your stupid epitome of, of malnourishment videos and cherry picking about Mia being self-conscious about her skin. There are shed tons of teenagers with spots and acne who are paranoid about their skin. There's nothing unusual about Mia here. So guys, it's a common misconception that teenagers nowadays or anybody who's somewhat young is supposed to get acne. It's just normal. That's what happens. If somebody who lives in nature would see you, they would think that you're severely sick because this is actually, naturally speaking, very abnormal. It's a modern day problem and you wouldn't have these problems if you would simply eat meat. It doesn't have to be only meat, but mostly animal products and you would have no acne, it would all disappear. I understand that you've been brainwashed to believe that plants are the answer, but they are all man-made, they are unnatural, and it's not what humans ever consumed. And this is why we have the modern day problems. In nature, humans mostly eat raw meat and drink blood, but it's something that's been covered up. Even cooked meat would get rid of your problems though. Only vegans get acne. And there is no one in the world who eats meat who has acne? She didn't get over 50 nutrients in this day of eating. Oh, for God's sake, let's look at this list. Right, B12, she took a supplement. The supplements work. Vitamin A, she ate beta carotene. B6, yes they do, plants have B6. Vitamin D, she lives in Dubai, right? She's gonna get plenty of sun for her vitamin D. I don't even know what vitamin F is. What's vitamin F? That's not even a thing. K2, she took a supplement, but if you have plenty of K1 in your diet, your body, like other animals, will convert it to K2. Right, so we've got creatine, carnitine, car carnosine, and taurine. Humans are not cats, Sverage, right? These are all non-essential amino acids. Your body makes all of these things as it needs them. Heme iron. You don't need heme iron, right? There's iron in plants that's non-heme. Arguably more healthy way to consume your iron. So that's nonsense as well. CoQ10. Your body makes CoQ10. It's non-essential. CLA, I'm not sure what CLA is. I think he might mean the form of omega-6 that's found in meat and dairy, I think. Again, non-essential. Omega-6 is essential, but it's not essential to get it from meat and dairy. Honestly, I say again, opposite land is a very, very, very strange place on that note guys i hope i've shown just how ridiculous these carnitard arguments really are and why sverish chose to make a response attacking a teenager in his normal passive aggressive manner i have no idea scraping the barrel there sverage as you always do so if you're not yet subscribed, please do so and help the channel grow. I am here every single day, 365, baby, and I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.